Okay, today I'm going to show you how you can get Chicken, a homebrew enabler, on your PSP. This supposedly works for all PSP models, 1000, 2000, and 3000, but this tutorial is mainly for the 2000 and 3000. Um, you have to have firmware version 5.03 for this to work. Do not try it on any other firmware because I have zero idea what would happen. Um, the difference between this, a homebrew enabler, and full custom firmware is that with a homebrew enabler you can only play things like emulators and um, use some homebrew apps like PSP2 and with full custom firmware you can play um, .iso, .cso, and .psx games on your PSP. So the first thing you want to do is if you click on the link in the description it should come to a website like this. Hit download file um, it's a .rar file, so if you don't have WinRAR, you can download a ton of free trials. Just Google it. It's a real file. So once that's done, if you open it up, you should have four fold four things: a fat folder that's obviously used for the PSP 1000, a slim folder for the 2000 and 3000 models, an h.bin file, and a readme.txt. So after all that is downloaded. If you turn your PSP on and put it in USB mode, should pop up on your computer. Okay, wait a second, I'm sorry about this. What the? Okay, you should get a pop up like this. You want to hit open folder to view files, hit OK. Should show you the contents of your memory stick. If it doesn't pop up, the little screen doesn't pop up there. If you go to start, my computer then in there it should be called like removable disk and then like a letter like C removable disk F. Okay so on your memory stick you might not have all the same files as me but you should have one that's PSP all capitalized. What you want to do with this chicken thing is you want to drag this h.bin file into the memory stick and make sure that it is outside PSP folder. This is the root of the memory stick. It cannot be in the PSP folder as I, I have it there, just drag and drop it from here like that outside of the PSP folder. Now inside of the PSP folder you might not have all the same folders as me but there should be one called photo all capitalized if not just right click new folder name it photo all capitals. Now inside that if you open up the slim folder inside this photo folder you would just drag chicken like I have there and you want to make sure there are no other pictures of any kind anywhere on your PSP. There is a photo folder and outside of this PSP folder there it might be one called picture. I don't know if you have that. Make sure there are no pictures anywhere on your PSP. So after you have it on your PSP you're ready to move to your PSP. Okay now that you have chicken on your PSP if you go to memory stick, sorry. There should be a folder, chicken, five images. Okay, now the first step to this is make sure you have no UMD in your PSP. And if you go to system settings, scroll all the way down to system information. I gotta cover up this. And if you see firmware 5.03, that is the firmware you want to have. Okay, now on all these things that can be turned on and off, go ahead and turn them off. You want them all off. And basically there's a lot of different methods for chicken. Um, sometimes chicken will work and your screen will flash a really weird color. Sometimes it won't. Your, you'll, your PSP will just freeze, wait about 15 seconds, and it should just shut off and turn it back on and it'll boot up fine. This basically has a 0% chance It's because it's only temporary. Which means, well I'll show you what that means in a second. So the method I like to do is click X and then as soon as the chicken file pops up, hit right again. It opens up and scroll down, just hold down all the way to the very bottom. And don't press X on any full um, pictures, just let it load. And sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't, so we'll see what happens. Just leave it there, don't click on it or anything. Uh, it froze that time. So that's okay, I want to show you, just wait a few, like 15 seconds or so, and it will shut off. Okay, come on, there we go. Oh.
Now just turn it back on. Sometimes it might take a few tries. Okay, so we're going to try the same thing. Just kind of squirrel around a little bit. I don't know if there's really any method, if this even helps, but... Okay, so as soon as... Now just leave it on the bottom one. Oh my, froze again. Okay, if it doesn't work this third time. Sorry about this. Okay, just turn it back on. Just gonna scroll around maybe. Turn that on. Turn that off. Go to your game memory stick. I don't know if any of this even does anything, but might as well try. Okay, please work this time, chicken. There, there we go. Looks like you just bricked your PSP, but that's what it looks like when it works. So it should boot up. That's what the HBIN file does, lets it boot up. And if you go to system settings, go to system information, your firmware should say 5.03 chicken R2. Now, what I meant by temporary is chicken works now. You can run things like this emulator. If you want to know how to get that, I have a video. And lets you do all your homebrew junk. You can just turn it off like that, go into sleep mode, and your chicken will still be back. It'll still be chicken, but if you hold the power button up until it turns off, all the way like that, and then turn it back on, it'll be on chicken. Basically, whenever it loads up and you have you see the Sony computer entertainment thing, it's been on chicken did. So go back to system information. The version 5.03 again, so just run the same thing again and you should be good.